Interested in AWS and PyCharm? Mukul Mantosh has made an extensive PyCharm guide tutorial. Let's take a look. PyCharm with cloud platforms is a hot topic. The Amazon team makes a plugin for IntelliJ called the AWS Toolkit. What is the developer experience like? Mukul Mantosh has made a community tutorial, the first community tutorial in the PyCharm guide. His tutorial is really an astonishing learning resource. 10 tutorial steps from background to deployment. He covers everything you need, installing the tools and the PyCharm Professional plugin and setting up the project in the AWS Management Console. Starting a project using the plugin's project type, then explaining the structure of the generated project, as well as what's in the template. Setting up a Docker configuration in the IDE to then run a Lambda function locally, which returns some JSON. Configuring a MongoDB Atlas database for the project, then configuring PyCharm Professional to connect to it. Then the important part, create, read, update, delete, CRUD operations in our Python code, which operate on the MongoDB database. Hooking up security authorizers and JWT, also known as JOT, for authentication. Installing PyTest and writing tests that ensure our code works before deployment. Setting up a deployment in the AWS console, then using deploy serverless application right from within PyCharm Professional. Each tutorial step has a narrated video showing all the operations, as well as text to explain and links to working code. It was a lot of fun working with Mukul on this. He did all the research, all the coding, the writing, and the video. I helped on the narration. If you're interested in AWS and PyCharm, go through this tutorial, let us know what you think, and watch for some further information about this. Thanks, Mukul.